Hello guys and welcome to Tech Design. Please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos. So in this video I'm going to tell you three major important points to remember when you are doing an assembly in Unigraphics modeling workbench in Unigraphics. So the first point is when you are creating an assembly when you add a first component to your assembly for example I'm just going to add a body here so when you are adding a body you need to fix this component the first component you need to fix it or else you can just make sure that if you're not fixing it uh, it will be uh, having a complete uh, degrees of you need to constrain this along with a existing coordinate system there will be an existing coordinate system which is a datum coordinate system you need to constrain this the first component uh, with the coordinate system else you can just fix the component so now the second point is before constraining uh, completely constraining the first component uh, never go into the second component do not import or do not go into the second component so unless and until you constrain this completely so you need to fix or constrain the previous component which is already loaded so after that you can just go to the second component suppose in case if you have not constrained this and now what you will do is you just go to bolt and what what i will do is i'll just constrain this bolt along with this body since this is not constrained i'm just trying to move this only bolt so along with the bolt what happens is the body will also move so always keep it in mind that when you are uh, adding a new component to an assembly or if you are trying to uh, assemble the components uh, with a parent body so you always make sure that your parent body or a previous component should be completely constrained so that it will not mess up okay now the third point is that suppose you have a bolt uh, which is of a one quantity so you want to add the existing components so suppose for example the bolt or a body which is already existing if you want to add the same component into an assembly just make sure that you will select the component and press ctrl c and ctrl v so okay you can just copy it and paste it onto this bow onto this uh, window so that you can just avoid add adding components by using the add components so these are the most important points you need to remember guys please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos and join my community thank you guys